What's up everybody, Usama here and you are watching Tech with Usama. This is the guide on how to take screenshots on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. I am going to demonstrate this process on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. However, the same will apply to your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 as well. So, there are different methods to take screenshots on a Samsung phone and I am going to share the easiest ones with all of you. So, first of all, the easiest method is to take the screenshot using the S Pen of your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. You get this small button which has a lot of options inside. You can just click on it and you can click on screen right. Now this feature will capture the screen and it will give you the option to write something on the screen. You can write something, change the colors like this and you can also go back and change the size of the pen. You can increase the pen's thickness and do pretty much everything. From here you can share the pictures with your friends as well and this is how it works. So the second method to take screenshots on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus is by swiping your hand which is the palm swipe to capture. It's pretty much common on all the Samsung phones. You will just swipe the palm like this and the phone will take a screenshot. You can see that we are getting this little toolbar at the bottom. This toolbar has a few options. For example, you have the screen right option here. If you don't want to use the screen right option and want to use something else, you have this hashtag. Basically, you can tag all of your screenshots under specific tags so that you can find them easily later on. I would like to show you the third option here as well, which is the share option. You can share the screenshots directly with your friends through all these applications. Now, another method to take screenshots on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus is through the button combination. You can press and hold the volume down and the power button and it will take the screenshots like this. The toolbar appears here as well and I have already explained the features of the toolbar. Now, there is another feature which is called the scrolling screenshot. The scrolling screenshot works only with applications that support it. For example, I can open the Chrome browser on my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I can open my website. Here it is. Okay, so I can press the volume down and the power button and here I have the scrolling screenshot option. The page will scroll down on its own. I can scroll it down more. I can keep scrolling it as long as I want and it will keep capturing the screenshot. If I click on the screenshot, I can get this entire screen here. By zooming in, I can see that there is no loss in quality of this screenshot. Uh, now, the smart features of the screenshot tool also allow you to visit web pages that are captured in that particular screenshot. Uh, the scrolling screenshot, as I mentioned earlier, is not compatible with all the applications. There are only a few applications that support this feature. Now, these are all the methods to take screenshots and also um, the few options that you have for the screenshots. I would like to show you some screenshot settings as well. You can go to the settings and type in screenshots. And you can see that you have the options here, for example, screenshot toolbar, I can click here. If you don't want that toolbar to appear at the bottom, you can just turn it off. Similarly, you can uh, turn this delete shared screenshots feature on. What this will do is as soon as you share a screenshot with someone else, that screenshot will be deleted from your phone. You will not have to go through all those screen captures that are randomly taken as well that are there occupying a little bit of space in the gallery of your phone. So that's pretty much it with the screen capture on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. I hope that you guys like this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you loved it, please consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure that you drop your feedback in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one really soon.